Hey everybody, it's Zach again, NewTutorial.com, coming in and making a video for you today. Uh, I wanted to catch up on some things. Um, there was a lot of things that happened over the last year. Uh, some of them I'm going to go back definitely and talk about. That's what we're going to do today. Um, some of them probably just going to have to go by the wayside. It is what it is. Um, over the last year, I had one priority, one priority only. And um, all the other things had to take a back seat. Uh, I want to go back and talk about this Chick-fil-A thing that happened uh, a few months back. Um, and this was something that I was like, I was so opinionated about and I couldn't say anything because I just had so much going on and I'm watching my Facebook feed and biting my lip, biting my lip. Didn't want to make a post about it because I wanted to make a video about it. And I'm like, I hate making posts about stuff when I can make a video about it. And I just, oh man, I was really upset. So, um, I want to tell you about a story first off. Um, <clears throat> when this whole Chick Fil A thing came up, came up, came up, and if you don't remember, if you don't remember, if you were living under a rock a few months back, um, basically Chick Fil A <clears throat> ended its support for a number of Christian-based charities, and one of them was the, I believe, the Salvation Army. Is that right? And a number of others because of their stance, supposedly because of their stance on. Uh, LGBTQ issues. And Chick-fil-A came out and said, oh, that's not true, that's not true. We're just making different changes. See, we're making, we're making, we're going into new markets and we're making changes. And so this has nothing to do with anybody's stance on anything. And a bunch of you people, gullible people out there bought it hook, line, and sinker because you don't know how to read between the lines. <laughs> I mean, I j you just don't. And so... And people were really upset at Chick-fil-A. The people who could read between the lines were upset at Chick-fil-A, rightfully so, which I'm going to show you today. And um, they're not, you know, patronizing this establishment anymore. They're not going to, you know, they're they're boycotting them or whatever. And I haven't heard yet, you know, really what the numbers are, their quarterly numbers to see if this has had any impact. But I, I'm assuming, based on the story I'm going to tell you, that I won't see what I used to see. <laughs> Excuse me, I have a little bit of a cough. I just got back from a vacation out west and it really played havoc with my throat and nose. Oh man, it's horrible. Uh, makes me question if I want to go back out there. Um, anyway, uh, the air is just so dry and thin. Anyway, Chick fil A. So these people are, let me just show you some of the things I saw. Here's, here's I, I have blurred the images to protect. The not so innocent because usually when I call people out, people get angry. Zach, you can't call people. Well, if you, if you post something publicly, I have the, I should have the ability and the right to address it publicly. I have since tried to mellow myself and I have blurred out some of these images. So this image is, uh, this image uh, was posted by someone who was upset at Chick Fil A for doing what they did. Uh, who's on my friends list and. Um, I thought I'd save this one. I screenshotted it during this whole hubbub because I wanted to be able to use it later. Uh, he posts, he says, this is pretty clear. And it is clear indeed. This is, quote, the founder, or, I'm sorry, the president and chief operating officer, Tim Tassapolis from Chick-fil-A. says, there's no question, there's no question. We know that as we go into new markets, we need to be clear, clear about who we are. Chick-fil-A president and chief operating officer Tim Tassopoulos said in an interview with BizNow, quote, there are lots of articles and newscasts about Chick-fil-A and we thought we needed to be clear about our message. Oh, clear indeed. As he says here, this is pretty clear. And so what he's saying there, there's no question we know that as we go into new markets, we need to be clear about who we are. See, it's all about money. I'm going into new markets. I got to be clear about who I am because we're going into new markets, folks. We're going into new markets. And we need to be clear about who we are because we got to make the money. It's new markets. It's how you make money and you go into new markets. Well, let's take a look at, because they ended, they ended donations to some groups, which they say had nothing to do with LGBTQ. And then they say, well, we're giving it to these groups over here. This one called Covenant House. Let's take a look at this. Covenant House. Who is Covenant House? Well, if you do some research, you'll come up with some information here on Covenant House. 
And this was a post uh, that was put out by uh, Covenant House not that long before this hubbub. And it says, clearly, LGBTQ people, young people, need adults to work harder to keep them safe, housed, and not just accepted, but celebrated for who they are. See, we want to celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. I mean, this is, you can't get any more in your face than this. We're going to stop giving it to these organizations and give it to these organizations because, folks, they know how to celebrate. Are you wondering why some people got mad? Oh, Zach. Now, this is this is the majority of you. This is the majority of you. The majority of you came out and said this. And let's just get angry at me right ahead. Go ahead and start your, your, your hate-filled comments below. Go ahead and start trolling my page. I'm all ready for it. So here, because here's what most of you posted. You posted stuff like this. It says, I will continue to eat Chick-fil-A because it's delicious. Stop pretending, Zach, that you hold any other food place to the same standards. I hold Chick-fil-A, I held Chick-fil-A to a higher standard. You see, I don't like shopping out into the world anyway. The only other place I normally would eat if I'm out, it would be Subway usually. Maybe, maybe I like Firehouse because it's I like spicy. But, I mean, I don't eat out a lot anyway. And I don't eat these other foods because it's not really food. It's just, it's not good for you. Chick-fil-A is junk food, to be honest with you. But, see, I would eat Chick-fil-A over any of these others for the sole purpose that because they were held, in my mind, at a higher standard. It's not pretending that I hold Chick-fil-A or, or these other food places to the same standards. No, I held them at a higher standard the same way that I would hold any Bible believer to a higher standard. Do you wonder why we get so upset when these Christian musicians, these Christian rock stars come out and they, they, they say they're homosexual or they say that uh, they, they're leaving the faith? It's because we held you to a higher standard and now we're disappointed that you've Turn from what you said you believed in. Here's the story I want to tell. Here's the story I want to tell. The story I want to tell is that most of you guys know in 2018, uh, my son, Caleb, had a bicycle accident. And we had to get him to a hospital. Uh, we didn't know what was wrong, but it turned out he was having internal bleeding. And so he spent about a week inside the ICU. It was really stressful. We almost lost him. It was a big hubbub. A lot of you guys remember that. And a lot of you guys uh, prayerfully supported us. I appreciate that. After we left the hospital, the, the day we're getting discharged, we're so excited. We're going to be going home. They discharge us. It's about 1145. We're walking out the door. I turned to Jamie and I said, where would you like? Where do you want to go eat? Because it's lunchtime and we got about a two and a half, three hour drive ahead of us. Um, what do you, what do you, you're going to be hungry. She's like, well, I don't know. What do you want to eat? And I'm like, well, what about Chick-fil-A? I said, I'll look and see if there's a Chick-fil-A nearby. I'm exiting the hospital, 1145. It's, I'm, I'm Googling Chick-fil-A to see if there's one in Springfield. Not only is there one in Springfield, Missouri, but there's three, three, my friends, within one mile distance of the same hospital. Three. Keep that in mind. There's three Chick-fil-A's within a one-mile distance of the hospital. So I'm like, oh, well, there's three of them. Good grief. All right, well, we'll, just, we'll go to the one that's south of the hospital because we got to head south anyway, so we'll go there. So da, 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 and put it in there, and in the, in the car we go, and off we go to Chick-fil-A. We get to Chick-fil-A. We get to Chick-fil-A, and I get out of the car, and there's a line coming out of the building. There's a line coming out of the building. And then... You know, going into the door, there's a line that wraps around of the full turnstile thing they have and goes finally around to the registers. It's a huge line coming out the door. And people, I mean, they're waiting 20 minutes just to order their food. No fast food restaurant in Springfield, Missouri, or anywhere else for that matter, at lunchtime has that kind of line coming out of it. And it's not, it's, it's, it's not the only restaurant in town. There's three of them within a mile of the hospital. I'm assuming the other ones were the same way at noon that day. I wonder if it's the same today. Someone send me a picture. Go to Springfield, Missouri. Snap a picture at noon. Let me know if there's a line coming out the door. I want to know. Because I'm not going to be in that line. The only reason I would wait 20 minutes to order fast junk food is because I held them to a higher standard. I was 
I was happy about the stand they made when they stood up to the liberal, ungodly policies and ungodly culture that we live in. They took a stand. They were bold. They stood with boldness. And they don't do that anymore. We got our food. I waited in line for 20 minutes, got our food, and I went in there and I looked around. And I said, honey, have you, do you see the people that are sitting around the tables here? And she looked around and she's like, yeah. I said, what do you notice about them? And she's like, it's families. It's, it's a lot of kids. And I said, yeah, it's large families. It's, it's Christian families. These, you can just look at someone and you know the light's in them, right? That's the way it was when you... There's Bible verses, at least there were back then. There were Bible verses framed on the wall at the Chick-fil-A in Springfield, Missouri. Bible verses. Name another restaurant that has Bible verses, a fast food restaurant that has Bible verses framed on the wall. There, I, I can't think of any. I mean, can, I mean, maybe there's some fast food place. I mean, it, it's set apart. It was set apart. And they stood with boldness. No one's going to stand in line for 20 minutes for fast junk food unless they are politically standing with you for a reason. Because you have a voice and they believe that by shopping there with their dollars, they help embolden your voice. That's why I stood in line for 20 minutes waiting for my food and had to sit in a crowded, crowded uh, little tiny you know, eating area to eat my food. I had to wait for a table. Finally got one because people were, you know, people not people were there and they were being nice. They were trying to hurry up and eat the food because they knew people were behind waiting for tables. It was an amazing atmosphere. But see, when you stand with, if you stand for something and you stand with boldness, not caring about what the rest of the world thinks, a lot of people in the world will stand with you. And they lost that. They lost that during this hubbub. They lost me. I would shop at Chick-fil-A. I shopped there a number of times during when Jamie was going for her treatments. We were in Fayetteville or Springdale, whatever. There's Chick-fil-A there on, oh, what's that road? 71 College or whatever. I don't know, whatever it is. And and you, I'd go there for, for lunch because of their boldness. I won't go there anymore. I'd care less because they capitulated. They surrendered. They shrank in fear at what the world thinks. So I'm not, I can't stand with Chick-fil-A anymore. You know, I don't hold them, I don't hold these other restaurants or their, I don't hold anyone to that standard. I held them to their standard, to God's standard, because they said they believed in what the Bible says. Even if they're wrong about Sunday, because I know they're closed on Sundays. Even if, you know, no one's perfect. You, me, you, no one's perfect here. But see, they were trying to stand with boldness on what they believed the word of God said. And now they have 180 and say, you know what? We're going into new markets. We, we need to be clear about who we are. And I think we'll start to give something to Covenant House because that will send a message that, you know, we're cool. Hey, Chick-fil-A, genius. Do you think you're going to win a bunch of, you know, chicken eaters out in San Francisco because you said you gave money to, to Covenant House? No, they still hate you. They hate you good. Because they know what you think. What you, they they, they People don't like to be placated to. They don't want to be pandered to. That's all you did. You just pandered. Weak. And so, yeah, I'm not eating Chick-fil-A anymore. And um, I was upset that they capitulated. I was upset. Folks, stand with boldness. Not, don't be afraid to stand with boldness for what you believe. And if that means you have to walk away and, and, and walk away from a market or walk away from a paycheck or whatever, then let it be that way because your reward is not here. Your reward is up there. Will you get to it or not? Well, that, that depends on you. All right, we'll leave it at that. Go home, read your Bible. Thanks.